a good afternoon to you, ladies and gentlemen. Now, uh, I don't know if you're a fan of boxing at all. Believe it or not, I actually quite like boxing. But did you watch the fight? Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder. Did you see the fight? I don't know if you've ever seen any of them fight before, but it was a great fight. Tyson Fury was knocked down. Deontay Wilder was knocked down. Back and forth. And that's what makes a great fight. When you see a fighter go down, and then they rise again. And it sort of does something to us, doesn't it? It gets us excited. Did you watch the fight with Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder? You did, did you? It gets us excited when they get up and you think, wow, how did he get up from that? Well, let me tell you something. I'm a Christian. And I'll tell you, there's something better than a man going down on a canvas and rising again. It's the Son of God. He died on the cross three days. He was flatlined, dead. But then on the third day, he rose from the dead. That's why I'm a Christian. That's why I put my trust in him. Because I'll tell you, if you died, if you died, if any of you died, and then three days later came back from the dead, I'd listen so carefully to what you have to say. And that's why we listen to Jesus when he says, I can give you eternal life. What do you think of that when I tell you that? That you can have eternal life through Jesus Christ. Here's another question for you now. What do you think of Insulate Britain? What do you think of Insulate Britain? You don't know who Insulate Britain is? No, them people who've been blocking the roads, have you heard of them? They've been sitting, they've been gluing themselves to the road. I'm asking... Uh, the, the kind of environment... Lads, what do you think of Insulate Britain? Do you know about Insulate Britain? You think run the, this man thinks run the men of Insulate Britain over, okay, yeah? I'm asking other people. I, by the way, I'm not from Insulate Britain. I'm just asking your opinion. What do you think of that? Here we are, we've got people who are blocking a road. Did you know this? There is a road that leads to heaven. And there's something that's blocking you from getting to heaven. Do you know what it is? It's your sin. You and I are sinners. You know this man in front of you right now is a sinner. I've told lies before. I've stolen things. I've got anger. I've lost my temper. I've looked at things I shouldn't have. I am a sinner and my sin has blocked me from getting to heaven. Just like Insulate Britain are trying to block the roads. So there's a road that leads to heaven and your sin is a barrier to that. But here's the good news. The Son of God, 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ, takes that sin. He put it in his body and he was crucified. He was punished for that. And he can take your sin and remove it away. So the road to heaven is clear now. Just like Insulate Britain need to get off the road, the road to heaven can be clear if your sin is removed. And you can get to heaven through Jesus Christ. Here's another one for you, okay? Behind me is Boots. Have you noticed there the saying about Black Friday there in Boots? Just there, we can see a sign about Black Friday. I wonder what's the best Black Friday deal you've ever had. What is the best Black Friday deal? Have you ever got something ridiculously cheap on Black Friday? I'm going to tell you right now about the best Black Friday deal in the whole world. What about this one? You could have your sins forgiven. You could have peace with God. You can have a mansion in the sky. You can have eternal life. And guess how much this deal is? It's free. Jesus Christ on the cross died for sinners. Did you know he died on a Friday? Good Friday. It was a black Friday because the sun went dark. Because our sins are so dark, because our sins are so black, and they cause so much pain and suffering, they were laid on the Lord Jesus Christ. And on the cross, Jesus suffered and died there, and we had a total eclipse for three hours. It's a fact. Look in the history books. You'll find out that 2,000 years ago, there was a, a total eclipse recorded around the world. And it's the same day that Jesus died on a cross. So when you're thinking about Black Friday, the Black Friday is actually a good Friday 2,000 years ago where Jesus died for your sins. What goes through you? Praise, Praise the, Lord, the Lord, exactly. And I'm asking people, what goes through your mind as I tell you that? That Jesus died for you. He loved you enough. He took your sin in his body and he suffered there. So any man, any woman who says, forgive me, any man, any woman who says, I'm going to turn from my sins, I'm going to repent, I don't want it anymore, they can have eternal life. What is going through your mind? Did I tell you oh that? Oh gosh, it's cold out here. You're saying it's cold <laughs> out here. <laughs> yeah. No, sorry, I'm going through a lot of things that you're saying here. And um, where I live, I'm going through hell on earth. And I can't, as a Christian, yes, I agree with everything you say, but... As you grow up, you think to yourself, what's going on here? I, I'm not well, dear. I suffer with depression. And I go to church here. I, I've up for a little child, not a baby. Um, I have. I believe in